It's being built as the biggest game in South Florida history. And the school has sold out Raymond James Stadium, expected the biggest crowd to see a USF home football game when they welcome West Virginia on Friday night. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you on the Toyota College Football Preview Show. Breaking down the fifth-ranked Mountaineers, visit to Tampa to take on the number 18 team in the country. And for more, we bring in Spencer Tillman from Houston, as we do every single week. And Spence, before we get into this game, Let's relive last year a little bit because USF stopped West Virginia's chances of a BCS bowl game with a win in Morgantown. So how'd they slow down that spread attack last year? Well, it's simple. You just fundamentally tackle. Anytime somebody's going to come out offensively and spread you out, you've got to be able to tackle. That's the bottom line because you're basically pitting athlete on athlete. And if you don't stick to the fundamentals of the game of football, you'll get exposed. All you got to do is ask Michigan what happened to them uh, early on against Appy State. And we can go down the line of these spread offenses and what they've done to what has heretofore been known as quality defenses. So fundamentally tackling is the key. Well, in that game, just 132 yards rushing for West Virginia. They also coughed it up four times, so a mm -hmm. lot of opportunistic plays for South Florida, which is also how they won at Auburn this season. But in that game, Steve Slayton had his six straight 100-yard effort snapped, ran for just 43 yards. He's got Pat White back, who last year at the end of the season had some injuries. He played in that game but had some injuries at the end of the season. What do you expect out of the, the Heisman duo for West Virginia? Well, I think they'll be highly focused this time around. You listen to Rich Rodriguez talk about why that team is having the kind of success that's really defined his tenure in the last three years in particular. They're executing much better, Jason. And I think the focus, the upset in Morgantown last year will serve as some motivation. But irrespective of that, they were executing well before this game actually came up on the board. So I expect them to continue to do what they've been doing to this point, and that's executing the finer points of the game. And at the end of the day, they got so many talent, talented players at skilled positions. You've got to be 100% sure and those fundamentals that we just talked about. And that's really what makes this game exciting to me. They, they do have the talent, but South Florida's got something in its back pocket, and that's momentum and the knowledge that mm -hmm. they beat West Virginia on the road last season. Spence, take me into a situation with a team like South Florida. They, they just won at Auburn two weeks ago. They came back and they handled North Carolina. What does that say to you about this team? It tells me about the maturity. I mean, we contrasted with the team in the SEC, Alabama. We keep going back to them. They had the big high win over Arkansas. Then they come back, and their quarterback lays an egg, at least for the first half of that next performance. What you're looking for is consistency, particularly when you're trying to reclaim a team and reclaim a program. So I think that's the biggest difference. And going and putting out uh, a team that they were better than, talented than, Butch Davis is doing a great job on the reclamation project there. But uh, this team was simply better. And I'm not so sure they're not the second best team in Florida right now, South Florida. Well, we'll have to see about that. Uh, they don't get to play Florida, Miami, or Florida State this season uh, <laughs> unless they see him in a bowl. Uh, talk to me about Matt, Matt Groth. He had a good game last year. He's been playing very well this season. Uh, how does he look in this game Friday night offensively against this West Virginia defense? Well, West Virginia, oftentimes their defense is maligned or at least not talked about as much because of what they've got on the other side of the ball. But they're playing sound, fundamentally in defense. What he's got to do is do what he's been doing all year long. Uh, he kind of reminds me of, of a Matt Schaub type guy. He stands in the pocket. He reads the defense exceptionally well. He's poised. He's got tremendous size and skill sets. And he's got tremendous vision. If you watch him demonstrate the patience in last week's game, going to the second and the third options, uh, that's impressive to me to see a guy do that at the collegiate level with the consistency see that Matt is doing it right now. So he's a tremendous quarterback. He just needs to continue to do what he's done so far so well. Spence, it's the biggest game in South Florida history. At least that's what they're saying. They beat West Virginia on the road last year. Do they beat him at home this season? Well, I don't think it's going to happen. I think what happens is when you lose, particularly at Morgantown and you're West Virginia, uh, look, folks, this is one of the biggest games for them because their schedule, the way it sets up, they're pretty much knocked out of national championship contention if they lose this contest, in my opinion. Uh, you got to go in. You learn a lot from what you've done last year. And so Rich Rodriguez is one of the smartest coaches in the business. They're not going to lose too straight to this group. And you know how big of a game it is in West Virginia when the high schools are changing their game from Friday <laughs> night so they can watch the game Friday night uh, at bet. South Florida. <laughs> Spence, thanks for all the knowledge. We'll see you Saturday on the College Football Today. All right, Jason. We'll see you, man. All right, folks, since joining the Big East in 2005, it's South Florida that is so good at home, and that's where this game is, 11-2 and two at home since 2005. But one of those losses was to West Virginia when the Mountaineers won the conference back in 2005. Spencer picks West Virginia. I'll take South Florida. The two kick it off Friday night at 8 o'clock Eastern, and for more on this game or any other in Week 5 of the college football season, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com and watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horwitz. Take care.